Eddie White here for the Indiana Pacers. A very special day today at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. It's not every day the mayor of the city of Indianapolis shows up for a very special reason. All of the Simons were here, including our owner, Herb Simon, as they all honored his brother, the late great Mel Simon, with a very special announcement when the mayor showed up to say that this street in front of me forevermore will be known as Mel Simon Memorial Parkway. So this is Indianapolis's way of um, remembering the legacy of Mel Simon. Uh, we thought Parkway was appropriate uh, because of those New York roots. So, um, uh, you know, it's three blocks uh, from uh, Washington now down to South Street, right out in front of Bankers Life Fieldhouse, which I think is an appropriate place to remember Mel Simon. Well, it's, uh, it's rare when some one person comes along and can affect the lives of others for the better. And, and Mel was that kind of a person. And uh, he allowed us to work with the community, give back to the community, to care for other people, and at the same time build a business, bring jobs and prosperity to a lot of people. And he did it with a lot of fun, a lot of kindness and thoughtfulness. So it's rare that a man like that came along. So this honor is just perfect honor for him. Emotional day. Uh, that uh, I was very close to my father, uh, and it is emotional day. And it's nice that the city and, and the mayor and uh, the Pacers or helped us organize all this for the the um, Memorial Parkway. And it's nice to know that he has something that will always be here. People come up to me all the time that I people I've never met and just tell me stories about how he helped them, how he allowed them to have access into that field house whenever they wanted to, like police officers, things like that. So yeah, he's he still is leaving a huge impact on our lives. And and you know, I'm glad my children were here to see this. So hopefully we'll just keep driving the point home. Yeah, the truth is is that the entire Simon family, but primarily Mel and her, have been pivotal in the growth, the modernization uh, of so many areas of this city, and frankly, uh, in no small measure, our downtown. Uh, when Mel first moved to Indianapolis, uh, as was said several times today, uh, there were really no hotels, no restaurants, and Indianapolis was known as Naptown. And now, thanks to not only Mel and Herb Simon, but the leadership of people like Bill Hudnut and other visionaries, uh, we now live in uh, a, a wonderful community that's the envy of the, certainly the Midwest, and in many ways, the envy of the country. Mel was somebody, more than anything, who believed that you give back. And what Mel gave back to this community is inestimable, it really is. I mean, obviously, saving the Pacers, the downtown, Circle Center Mall, uh, but Mel was a dreamer, Mel was a visionary, but I think of Mel as somebody who in his DNA said that when I, I'm fortunate enough to be successful, that I want to give back. And to me, that's the most important quality a human being can have. Mel was interesting. Mel was a, had a lot of humility at the same time that he understood the magnitude of the success. Giving back was in a core component of what his life was all about and what his goals and objectives were. But more than anything else, he was able to bring people together, people of multiple different persuasions, different thought processes, even people who had a lot of acrimony against each other, and be able to put together a group and a program to make sure that these folks would be able to be successful. And much of what we see in our city today is testimony to his ability to actually recruit people and bring people together. Well, it's, it's amazing. Not only has his vision created all this, but he's He's helped so many families. I mean, my family. I mean, I've been with the Pacers 33 seasons. I mean, I, I spent a lot of time with uh, Mr. Mel, and uh, had it not been for him coming to Indianapolis, uh, Herb wouldn't be here, and Fred wouldn't have been here, and the girls and the boys, and the whole group would have been here. We wouldn't have the Pacers here, I don't think. And all of us wouldn't have had livelihoods uh, over these years like we've had the opportunity to have. And so we owe him a great deal. And uh, to be able to work in a place that right outside every day as we go across the street, go to lunch, go to the mall, go wherever else uh, that we see uh, Melvin Simon's name. Uh, it, it's just a heartwarming thing. 